Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is a What's on my iPhone 5 video so you can see what I use on a daily basis and also what apps have just been updated for the new 4 inch screen on the iPhone 5. So let's run through every single app that I've got installed. Top left here you can see the Messages app, then we've got Calendar, Photos and Camera, these are all stock apps, Videos, the new Apple Maps application, weather, settings, contacts. Then I've got WhatsApp, which is sort of the equivalent of something like BBM for sending text messages and photos without using up your network inclusive text. Very, very good application. Then we've got podcasts. We've also got the YouTube app. And you can see here the YouTube app has not yet been updated for the iPhone 5. You can see a black band top and bottom. And it's a big, big difference. When you switch to an iPhone 5 optimized app that takes up the whole screen, you really will notice it. So hopefully the YouTube app will be updated soon. In my games folder, I have got Game Center, I have got Jetpack, Frisbee, and the Impossible Game. And then we move on to photography. Obviously a big thing for me, photography. We've got Flickstacker, iMotion HD, Flickr, Camera Plus, Cartoonatic, Camera 8, Hipstamatic, obviously Instagram, big Instagram user here, Motion Picks, Trigger Trap, Scoop Shot, which is very interesting. This sort of gives you um, the opportunity to make money out of your photos, well worth checking out, and also FOPE. And then we've got the social folder, Facebook, Google Plus, and Tweetbot. Let's go into Tweetbot, and you'll see what I mean. Tweetbot has actually been updated for the new iPhone 5 screen, so it takes up the whole four inch screen and it really does look nice. Absolutely love Tweetbot, glad that they jumped on this and did an iPhone 5 update as well. So let's go back out to the home screen here and we've got Twitter, we've got the Skype app, we've got Audio Boo, which I used to use a lot, not so much now, Pages for Facebook, Keek, which is for sort of making very short video updates and posting them on a sort of social network type site. I haven't used it yet, but I do plan to do so. Then in my business folder here, I have got Dropbox, Squarespace, PayPal, LinkedIn, 1Password, highly recommended 1Password. It keeps all of your passwords very, very safe and allows you to be very secure online. eBay, Reminders and Smart Office 2, which I picked up when it was either, either free or on offer. Then we've got the Utilities folder. Some of these are stock apps, Clock, Calculator, Compass, Voice Memos, Notes, Dictionary, Enigma for scanning those QR codes, Find My iPhone, Flashlight, Airport Utility, Speed Test, and the new Google Authenticator. Again, two-step authentication on Google on your Gmail account. Very, very uh, important that you do this. Keeps you super secure. Geekbench, now if you haven't seen my previous videos on the iPhone 5, I ran a Geekbench test between the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, and the new iPad 3. Check the links underneath this video to check that one out. Then we've got some more folders here. We've obviously got the Geekanoids app. We've got TV Guide, Sky Plus, ITV Player, and Zappo TV. And then in my reading folder, we have got Flipboard. Love Flipboard, really do like it. Let's just tap on that. And you can see that Flipboard has been updated too. So Flipboard is an iPhone 5 app now, and it takes up the full screen. Very, very cool app as well. And then we've obviously got the Kindle app in here. Then in my navigation folder, two navigation apps that I switch between from time to time. TomTom, Tom, UK and Ireland, and also Copilot Live. Then we've got Chrome. We've got the Apple Remote app, three, because I am on 3UK as a network. National Rail, terrible app, absolutely terrible. I'm gonna delete that now, actually. Let's get rid of that. We do not want that on there anymore. Then we've also got Passbook, which is obviously an Apple app. Very limited use in the UK. So hopefully some of the uh, sort of uh, businesses here will start using Passbook. Find My Friends and Wallpapers HD. And then we've got a few more stock apps here. The Stocks app, funnily enough, App Store, Newsstand, iTunes, and the App Store. So that is what is on my iPhone 5 at the moment. 
Really looking forward to using some of these full screen apps now. I hope a lot of the developers jump on board and really sort of update their apps as quickly as they can. Thanks very much for watching this What's On My iPhone 5 video. Please do give it a thumbs up. Please do stay tuned for more iPhone 5 coverage, including plenty of cases. And of course, in about a week's time, my full review. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.